Hey everybody, I'm Jordan with PTQ.com with another of our PowerShell series of videos. I know we started this and it kind of fell to the wayside. Jake kept on telling me to do it. I told him he's not my supervisor, but he warned me that he controls the thumbnail, so I figured I better come and do something. Uh, so we kind of covered the basics, how to find the commands. We've covered a lot of the entry level information. So I figured we'll go into environment variables, which is information that's just already built into your PowerShell. Uh, so the environment variables come from either process, user, or machine. And what that's basically telling you is process is if you set it for that session, it's going to last for that session. Next time you restart, it'll be gone. And then users, user profile, machine. Uh, so what are in, in variables? Let's take a look at uh, the dollar sign. It's just env. And then we'll do, I suppose it doesn't matter which one, we'll do home drive. And that's just a, a built-in one where I set your home drive as C. You can change the, like if you're something where it is D or you want it to be something different, you can just come in here and do home drive equals D and run it instead of just hit enter. I, I do that a lot. And then if you come in here, if you run just the home drive itself, you're going to need that E or it's going to fail. Come in there, you can see that I changed it. It says it changed it there, but that is only for this process. I'm not changing anything, anything that's going to last. So if it's something, if you're, I have a script that you run that you need something to change. Maybe not uh, home drive, but let's say you're doing a path. I'll just come in here and change this one. And that one. You can see there's a whole bunch of different paths there. If you were looking to add something that you don't need permanently, it's just a semicolon and then follow, follow the same path. Let me see if I can find it. We'll just do C temp right there. Do that one and it, <clears throat> once again, you have to hit F8, not enter. And that one, then we come back and run the path. I did equals. So we're actually going to see really bad. I deleted everything. But if I had done plus equals like I had uh, mentioned but didn't do, you would see we just had added that to the end, and it shows it as a, as a path that can be used. Uh, so if you put that at the top of the script or run for the script, once the script's gone, that's gone. That's a, that's a temporary one. And we'll showcase that because I'm probably going to want my path back. So we'll come over here. We'll open ISC again. All right, uh, dollar sign EMV path, and we'll run that one. You can see it's back. So yeah, if you're looking to add plus equals, that's very important. Otherwise, you're going to overwrite it. Uh, so another interesting uh, thing about the variables is the ENV is actually a location you can get to. So if we do set location, so this is similar if you're setting a, a group or if you want to go to registry, you can get there uh, with, with PowerShell. Set so location, just env. Once again, run the command. You can see down here now, env is where we're at. So if I come in here and do a uh, get child item, run that one, you can see a list of all of the system variables that are there. <clears throat> um, see, I said that, like, if, if you did, like, a uh, get child item and then pipe that into get member, you can see that these variables, are, they're basically dictionary key and value. That's why when you enter it, you have to put one, one or the other. So if you're going to create your own environment variable, you could do, you know, just dollar sign env colon test and equals soup or whichever, whatever works for you. You can, you can build your own, but that will only be uh, for the process. If you're looking to add, uh, looking to add them full time, create, create a system variable permanently. I have here a system environment. This isn't going to build it permanently. This is going to be a temporary one. But after we have test and soup, if we come in and do another system here, I'm just going to copy and paste this one because my typing is not that good. Put the uh, quotes around that one. If you do this one, that is going to then set it up as a user. So for your profile, that variable will always be there. If you do instead of user here, machine, that'll be more of the same. That's a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. You could always just do environment variables and your machine. Come in here, you can see this. These are your users. These are your machines. So if you needed to add them permanently, you can add them there. But if you're looking for... You know, if you're just in the machine, you can do it quickly, but that's the way to get past the process to make it last uh, for a long time. So basically anything that you see in this window here, in, uh, I'm sorry, in this screen we have open for Windows, 
it's going to give you all the information you need. Uh, it's all that's in there. You can build it out. You need it's just a quick way to have variables that will customize based on your environment. Uh, for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.